Oh, look at that. Would you believe it? Straight off. Welcome to another Volvo video, this 2003 Volvo XC90. And in this video, I'm going to be doing the ABS ring and the ABS sensor. So I turned to a, a Volvo forum, I think it was at volvoforums.org and the suggestion was to change the ABS sensor ring so I've got, got a new one there, got that from GSF Car Parts and I've also ordered a sensor as well so first thing I'll do is I'll change the sensor out So the ABS sensor goes in there, give it a bit of spray of WD it goes through and it goes up and the connectors are here so I'm not sure which one is which I'll have to trace that when I when I do the sensor find out which one of these is is for the so it's definitely not that one so it's probably that one yeah because it's matched with a yellow wire so I think I'll call it on this one I'm not sure I'm going to Disconnect it with. Let's have a look. Yeah, I'll just slides off. Not sure I'll worry about that later on, but I'll get this ABS sensor undone now. I believe it's a it's an 11 mil, so just give a small impact. Gotta be careful, I don't round this off otherwise I'm in really deep trouble. <sighs> yep, it's not an 11, I thought it was an 11. I tried a 10, it wouldn't fit in the 12 or too big. So I've changed. Try a 10. I think it is a 10. <laughs> yep, it's a 10. Okay, there we go, 10 mil ball. Uh, let's see if I can get this sensor out. Things fight me at the moment. Oh, I've just broken the, just broken this off. Oh, wonderful! So I'll get a screwdriver. Just leave it left to right and get it out. So I've got the old one out, and there's the old one, and I've got the new one next to it for comparison. I need to transfer these two clips over. So I'll do that and uh, put it back in. It's just a bit awkward. I had to airbox out to get to it, but it's not too bad. So I'm gonna fit this new one and see if we uh, cure the problem. So we're all buttoned up. Gonna take it for a road test. So I'm get some live data from the from the speed sensors, and we'll just see how we go on. Would help if I turn the ignition on. So I'll come back to you and let you know how it goes on. Well, unfortunately, I didn't uh, cure the problem. I'm still getting the same ABS 0012, which is a left front wheel sensor faulty. So it's 
it's got to be the ring so drive shaft's gonna have to come out so to get this drive shaft out i've uh, moved the abs sensor out of the way and don't get pinched or stretched uh that's the drive shaft and bolts 14 mil and then you've got the two two bolts for the knuckle and that should give me enough room to get this drive shaft out and I can get to the ABS ring. So first it's 14 mil Easily. Yep, oh that's gonna come out. There we go, I can feel it moving, so that's good. Just need to undo this knuckle. So we've got 19 mil there on the, on the bolt head. That's a 21 mil for the nut. So that wasn't too bad. I'm doing the same with the bottom one, I might have to take the caliper off. Cross that bridge if I get to it. But yeah, I might need to take the caliper off and get a bit, get a bit of a room to play with. And there we go, we've uh, done the ball connections from the strut to the knuckle. Right now we can see see the ABS centre ring. Let's have a look at I can't, can't see it properly, but yep. I can see definitely seen better days. So I was able to liberate the drive shaft and yes it is possible to do it. You just only have to undo the knuckle to strut bolts and the drive shaft bolt. You don't have to undo this track rod end or remove the brake caliper. There's a bit of room. He's got to push this back in and it comes out. So I think it's going to be easier if I change this on, on the bench in the shed. So I'll see you in the shed. So I'm not sure how I'm going to go about this one. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a vice, which doesn't help. So let's see if I can knock, just knock this one off. I might have to uh, go with the grinder. But... Oh, look at that. Would you believe it? Straight off. Look at that, I don't look too clever, so I'll give that a bit of a clean up. Uh, find a brush. I don't seem to have many in here. Uh, did I... Let's have a look, just have a go with what I've got. Clean it up. I thought I'm going to have to get medieval with the grinder. Fortunately, that wasn't necessary. Right, I'm going to try and drill. Let's see if it's. I think I've cleaned that up enough. So, well, for, give it a blast with the brake cleaner. Mm. 
I'd like to thank the last guy that took the drive shaft out. Made the job a lot easier for me. Didn't have to work. Use any tools, grease, a bit of grease on the splines. Makes all the difference. So it's still a bit of a. Let's have a look. I've got. That's about as clean as I'm going to get it. So I've got the new, new ABS ring. Cost me less than eight quid from GSF car parts. But I don't think it matters which way it goes. Looks to be looks to be the same. So it's just uh, just tap it down. Well, it's maybe a bit difficult, so I think it calls for some heat. But somewhere to one. I've got my blow torch. And the heat will expand the ring so it'll it'll fit onto there. And if so, and this needs to find some suitable pliers. There we go. We'll go over these. Just a bit of jump with heat. You don't have to go crazy with it. You don't need to expand the metal, don't need to harden it or whatever to kneel it. Uh, just enough to expand the, the ring. See if that's going to be enough to get this ring on. I need to be careful because it's hot. To be careful. It started, but I just need to. No. So I think there's still a bit of crud on here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there's a little bit of crud that was stopping it. So we'll try. Try again. This is my advice is coming useful, but I don't have one, I'm just gonna have to munch without.
combination of hitting it with the hammer and a bit of heat and I managed to get it get it in so it's all ready to go back together so I'll reassemble the whole thing off the car do another road test see if that makes any difference if not it's back to the forums well, I've scanned it and we're back to that single there a ABS fault and I'm not worried about the CCM one and the CEM now both of these faults because it these two modules cannot communicate with the differential module so I'll have to come come back to the uh, to that that's to do with my anti-skid service required which I still have uh, so the road test was quite successful and the ABS light has stayed out so that's a confirmed fix now while I'm putting my tools away I actually noticed the, the old ABS ring it actually split you know because it rusted so I'll, I'll shove a picture up and you, you can see that's why it was easy to knock off the, the drive shaft and obviously that was throwing out the ABS sensor and throwing on that code and putting up the warning lights anyway that's all a confirmed fix and we'll get back to the anti-skid service required message in a future video as ever thanks for watching and I'll see you there